Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So it is Halloween time. Halloween's about two weeks away and I want to spice my truck up a little bit, make it look cool for Halloween as I drive around town. So I'm just going to show you guys what I'm going to do. And then you guys can pretty much universally use it for any car, any truck, any vehicle, whatever it is. Just a couple things I got. I got this inflatable. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm thinking I'm going to put it like right there on the car because it uh, doesn't have a backside to it and I have to plug in the truck. So I can just plug it in and then it kind of suction cups through the window. So it'd look like it's coming out of the truck. That's that idea. I got some skeletons and some jack-o'-lanterns for the front bumper and maybe I can like cut those in half and put them over the off-road lights I have in my truck. That way they light up like they're being lit up. I got these bat stickers. I got black and white ones. The white ones are for the windows. The black ones are for the vehicle itself. It's like 250 in here. It's actually pretty cool. If you had a smaller vehicle, this would be more than enough. I have a feeling this might not be enough for me. And I also have uh, 200 LED string lights. These ones change between orange and purple and I'm thinking I could string them up along the sides of the bed and I think that'll look pretty cool and then these I thought were interesting because if you want to kind of spice up your vehicle for Halloween even though I know that kind of sounds dumb but like if you just want to get into the spirit of everything I think these are really simple and effective so you can just put these on the inside of your car window and they glow in the dark and they just suction cup to the window and they light up and I think they look really cool um, if you don't have tent, they look cool during the day. And if you do have tent, they look cool during the night. So this is definitely something that I'm looking forward to actually putting on everything. And then, of course, I got a bunch of zip ties. Again, it's like 250 zip ties or something like that of all different shapes and sizes just to tie everything down and for me to save for later. And then the two skeletons. Not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. Okay, so these are the pumpkins I bought. I couldn't find any big enough to just like fit over the lights. And uh, all the rest were smaller. So these are kind of an awkward size. But what I'm thinking I can do is just cut them in half down the middle right there and then tape them or zip tie them over the face of the light. And then when I turn the light on, obviously it'll light up the pumpkin. I think that's a pretty cool idea. You know what these remind me of? Is like I grew up watching Spider-Man and the Green Goblin throws like pumpkin bombs and like the Hobgoblin throws pumpkin bombs. <laughs> that's exactly what these remind me of, kind of funny. Okay, so this is the inflatable I bought. It's pretty cool, pretty simple. Um, but I just plugged it right into the back of my truck and then it has like these suction cups on like the butt of it, I guess. I think I can stick to the bed of my truck and then stick this part to the window and then it'll kind of hang out like it's coming out of my truck. Sorry it's loud because the truck has to be on for the bed to work. So I don't know, I think it looks pretty cool, pretty simple. And I'm hoping it's below the curve of the roof of my truck so that there's no real air being pulled on it. Obviously I'll go for like a little test drive, but it'd be cool to drive around with this. Not really on like the freeway or anything, but just around town just to like the kids in the town can see it and I, I got a lot of little kids in my family so I think people will be excited about this one hopefully this one works out okay so I'm not sure where I'm gonna put these guys yet I don't know if I want to do the back of the truck and then maybe one in the passenger seat or do both in the back of the truck I don't know but uh they're pretty cool and these are pretty cheap on Amazon so you guys can pick some up for yourself too they also look pretty good in the front yard the joints are completely posable and all have like a setting like that. I wasn't looking to spend a million dollars on decorating the truck for Halloween. So they're a good fit for me. Maybe they will be for you too. Okay, so these are pretty cool. Very, very simple and uh, neat. I think these be like a nice little touch on the truck. They have like a little switch up here and you just pull the switch and they turn on. And they also have like a timer mode on there too. And then they come with like these little almost sunglass holders that will hold them in place on the window. Let me show you that real quick. Okay, so this is a little piece it comes with. So they can just kind of sit right there. The problem is there's like a curve in my window, right? Like a window's not perfectly straight, like how a window on a house would be. So none of these really work that good. So I'm just gonna take scotch tape, tape the eyes to the window. That way it looks good at night. Also, these kind of scare me a little bit. If you have tint, um, I don't want it to rip my tint off accidentally. Okay, so here are the bats. Now there's five packages of the black bats. So I'm probably gonna do like two and a half to each side of the truck. And I'm just gonna kind of scatter them along the truck not really choosing a pattern per se, kind of like a, just like a chaos look, something that will just let people know that they're there. They are kind of small. If you have a smaller vehicle, these would work great. I wish they were a little bit bigger because my truck's big. Let's see what these look like when they're So here's the zip ties I bought. You got 12 inch, eight inch, 10 inch, and four inch ones. I think I'm probably gonna use, I don't know which ones, but it's cool to have like a nice variety of these on hand anyway, and they're like the heavy duty ones, but I'll probably use these in like an assorted arrangement just to keep them down as good as possible and keep it as nonchalant as possible. So on the zip ties, it says they're reusable. And I'm like, how the hell are zip ties reusable? So like, it's completely on there. I can't undo it. I'm trying to do this in film at the same time. But you can see maybe there's like a little tab in there. Do you guys see it? No, maybe. 
that one right there you see the tab you can kind of get your fingernail or like a flathead on that tab and it all just starts backing out boom undone how cool is that i mean i'm gonna cut these so they're not really reusable but like if i messed up i could just do that and put it somewhere else that's kind of cool okay so i shown the lights up along the sides i used duct tape on the inside here these are all uh fiberglass bedsides that were painted so if uh the tape does peel any paint up or anything like that i'm okay with it i can go in and fix it along the inside here but on the outside they're kind of messy but i did it messy on purpose so that you can kind of see them more if that makes sense because if you just do a straight line you won't be able to see too much but with them all clumped together like this you'll be able to see way more i like how they look i'll show you guys what they look like at the end so make sure you stay till the end see everything lit up so i got the pumpkins in place over my off-road lights again i'll show you what those look like in a second with the lights actually on I think it looks super cool, super festive and like low key, you know? Okay, so the truck is all done. I got the pumpkins down on the bottom of the lights. I only have one amber light in the bumper right now. That's gonna change very soon. So uh, I think those look pretty cool. The skeletons are being lit up by that grill. Kind of looks like they're holding on for like a roller coaster ride. I think that's pretty neat. And then we're gonna walk around. Well, actually, let's walk around this side of the truck because there's more on this side. So I have the lights the eye lights that i was talking about earlier those are in there they look really really cool um they look better in real life than they kind of do on camera because i have the flash on and i have some other light pollution going on i'll do a montage at the end of the video so you guys really see what it looks like but those are cool and we got the awesome bats i think the bats look pretty nice uh kind of coming up off the door got that one just standing there and then this is kind of the main part of the whole thing right here we have these lights that I put up on the bed. They look freaking awesome. And uh, they have a bunch of different modes that you can flip through. And then the skeletons, kind of with their arms up, like they're screaming, like they're scared, like again, almost like a roller coaster ride. The blow up also looks really nice right there in the back of the truck. You can tell it has a light in it with all of this light off. That looks really cool. Coming around just to the other side, just to give you guys a full idea here. More bats on this side. Again, the orange pair of lights. I think it came out really good. Now, what am I gonna drive around with? Everything except for maybe the blow up and the skeletons. The skeletons, I think, are probably gonna be more like for parade mode, I guess I would say, where when I'm driving around, uh, slow, you know, and I know they're not gonna go anywhere and I don't have to worry about it. Same thing with the inflatable, although I kinda did some reinforcement to the inflatable. You kinda notice it right there, it's kinda ghetto rigged. Um, and I don't really think it's going anywhere, at least not at like town speeds, but uh, I'm not comfortable going over like 20, 20, 25 miles per hour with it. So those might change, but everything else is gonna stay on. I think it's pretty low key. Again, if you guys are interested in doing this on your vehicles, whatever your vehicle might be, just be creative with it. If you guys are into the Halloween spirit, I know I'm kind of late to the party. I'll probably do a little bit more next year. I'm super into Halloween. I think it all looks really cool. And uh, a lot of kids in the neighborhood and stuff, they're gonna love it. I love it. And uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think down below, uh, what I should do next year maybe, or what I should have done this year. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.